Hello, hello, my melodies. Welcome back, and welcome to all the new songs that are being added to the band. I appreciate each of you coming over and subscribing, um, and just new new people who have discovered in general. Um, we are into the last two Build and Battle uh, Twilight Masquerade boxes that I have that we uh, we split a case with Real Breaking Nate on pre-release day. Um, I'm gonna try and insert the the video of that I took from his from my perspective for his perspective. We will see if it. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at the footage yet. It, either it will be inserted here or not, so. Fresh case of Twilight Masquerade build and battle boxes. However, we are splitting it. Yes, Mark. we are splitting it. <laughs> so you're, what we got, uh, you're getting five and I'm getting five? Yes. Is that right? Because there's 10 total in here. Yep. So five for you, five for me. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and open it up. And then one by one, we'll go back and forth and build up the the drama the okay. intensity of okay. it okay all right so let's uh let's try to get it started <sighs> there we go all right yeah let's enlist the uh the help of sydney perfect perfect if you if you want the other view come to my channel <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we got we got everybody here. Everyone can head over to me. All right, Mark. Okay. You, you, you want to go first? No, no Mark, I'm going to let you go it, first. It's a tradition that you have to take all of one of the pre-release promos that Nate needs. That's true. Yeah, that's that's true. I have I have a bunch of Frostless already. So, right, so I need I need the other all one. The frost left. I don't have okay. any. I have two Tatsugiris. Oh, okay. Well, and then whatever Marie pulled. I think two Thwackies, maybe. Yes. Yeah, okay. two Thwackies. So. Okay. so you have okay. to get the frost lasses. So am I going first? first? Yeah, you go first. Okay. You grab one first. Yeah, we're, we're doing middle. Ooh, okay. There you go. I will. Closest to Sinetra. I will go opposite. Okay. Middle. Let's do that one. Okay. That I'm going to go nice right here in the so that, very... That one is blessed by Sydney. Very front here. Okay. Um, okay. We'll, we'll reverse to the back. All right. You got to go there. Marie? Yes. Oh. You got to pick. Which one are we getting, Marie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Which one was that? Was it here? Yeah, yeah. the front okay. one. Okay. And then I think I'll do that one. All right. And then... Whole scene oh. of Mr. 16. That's true. <laughs> Lots one, of good luck. Which one am I going with? This one's another uh, another that you okay. have. Okay. All right. So uh, Paul, Marie. I'm going to do the, the, the back. Movies. And then Sydney, you pick. <laughs> I want to go with this All one. right, and that's oh, the well, one that Sydney is. picked. All right, <laughs> so we got Paul's, Marie's, Sydney's, and then I picked these two right here. Wait, wait, and I'm going right. to completely forget about mine. Best of luck. Yay! Okay, maybe who knows. Um, but to follow up with that, the um, the the video I did where I was explaining what is a build and battle, what do how do I build and battle, um, that was Sydney's box. The other boxes um, I randomized. I didn't pay attention to who who selected it or what I selected, what they selected, what they suggested. Anyway, we've had really good pulls and really good luck. So let's dive in. We've got two more boxes. I did end up getting. Um, all of the pre-release promos from the other boxes so don't have to go out and or don't have to worry about what promos we pull today we uh we got everything we need let's go ahead we got infernape and then there's four packs there put this over here i guess i'll want to uh i'll want to put some of the cards in the box as i use it so there's infernape for that one of course the insert which is very useful but now i have a lot of them <laughs> you only really need one and i have started uh, sorting and putting together the the binder i think i'm going to save that video or save going over the binder um if i can get in here come on this is usually so useful but now it is failing me there we go um probably share the how we're how we're doing on the binder next week after official release day and after we go out and i get the uh oh we got thwacky for this one um after we go get more product to open and then start talking about what are the the remaining cards in the set i've not been having too many good like 
rare pulls, but I feel like I've gotten a lot more A specs in this set. So we got eight packs to open today, uh, one through eight. Let me know what your, your predictions are down below. If you are correct with your predictions, definitely comment. Let me know. I know a lot of people don't comment before the video, but yeah, let me know if you get the, the right pack number as having the, the best pulls. And then, of course, we always like to have the extra kind of flavor of opening packs. Um, we have slot number two for today's compare card category or compare card spot. We're doing slot number one, which is HP, and we're looking for the lowest HP since that is odds. Yes, evens are heads, odds are tails. Heads we want the highest, and tails we want the lowest. So that's how that how that little piece works, and it adds extra flavor. Like even if we only get um, hollow rares in all of these packs. We still have a pack that is a winner determined for us, and it's a little bit extra fun. That's what I like to do. That is why I do it. Because you know, sometimes you just you want to add to the uh, to the fun of opening all these different packs and stuff. We have Luxio and we have Goldine with that Festival lead piece there. It has 50 health. We'll go ahead and put that in the winning area for the compare card spot. We got Reveroom, Rillaboom, Boom Boom, Handheld Fan, which had an interesting interaction this past weekend with the, uh, with the Applin ability. So all of that working together, um, we determined that this has to be resolved with each attack and then um, you would need the extra energy <laughs> to make things happen. And then we have a Frostless in that pack. Let's go ahead and get another one. We have uh, Sinistra hanging out there. Beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. I, I just love the T Pokemon. And I know I've talked about it before. I am going to build that deck. Um, it seems silly. It seems fun. Actually, I'm going to save that wrapper because that's Sinistra. You gotta save all the tea. <laughs> Be sustainable with your tea. I don't know. That's silly. Oh, we got a ducklet. Oh my goodness. We got a Molga. Hisuian Growlithe. So beautiful. There's a beautiful card in this set with Hisuian Growlithe and Perrin. Um, man, I saw it at I saw it over the weekend and very, very beautiful card. We got oh, we got two evolutions off that and an Infernape. Okay. That's kind of fun, and I completely did not grab the Ducklet. Ducklet's not winning the compare card category. Rightfully so. It shouldn't be. <laughs> Ducklet shouldn't be winning too much of anything. Now, I will admit, I will admit, I mean, I like any of the water Pokemons um, and the flying Pokemon. So, because it's a bird, I, I count it as a winner. I really like Swanna as well. We got Vulpix for the pack number three, not taking over the compare card spot. Eevee, Girafferig, Morpeko, Conklador, Diplin. We got Mighty End of the other. It's not the right Diplin for the combo that we were talking about. And a Monkey Dory. Oh my goodness, did I, did I uh, jinx myself by saying if we only got rare, <laughs> hollow rares in the compare card spot? will be the added fun for today's video. Who knows? Maybe I did have the, the incorrect built in battles pulled. Okay, we got Monferno, and then we got Nose Pass with 80. Looks like Goldie might be taking away that spot. We got Jinx. Not sure what Jinx is doing in that in the in that picture. That's an interesting artwork. Who is that? Okay. I don't know if I've seen that artist before. Made me pause. Anyway, so we got Tatsugiri, which is kind of like a Poke Gear. Um, does have to be in the active Poke Gear 3.0. Um, does have to be in the active to do it, but kind of an interesting ability. I don't know if that will have any play. Got Okie Dokie, <laughs> which is very powerful. And then, ooh, a Dragapult EX. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. And it's a regular double rare, but we will take it. I needed everything for the binder. And I know I haven't pulled this yet. So there is our first double rare. It's going to go into the MVP section, Mark's Valuable Pokemon Card section, and we can get the party started back there. So 
turn on all of the the fun lights. Blastoise is back there making sure everybody has all of the snacks and soft drinks that you could ever want. So that's unlimited. <laughs> and you are, of course, are all part of Mark's valuable people, MVPs. And you can always come back and hang out with Blastoise and myself and get some snacks and drinks hanging out. So we got Flabebe with 40. Okay, so pack number five. We're into box number two. Flabebe is taking over the compare card spot. Got Aaron, Glalie, Kilowatt Troll, Brute Bonnet, Shanks, another Goldeen, and then an Okie Dokie. Boy, this would have been, that would have been really good for the, uh, the build and battle. This uh, so this past weekend I went to a second pre-release. Ended up getting the um, Thwacky and Infernape line. Thwacky was the promo. Uh, ended up uh, taking out Infernape, doing just like Thwacky. I also pulled the Teal Mask Ogre Pawn and played with that, so that definitely helped out. Spinarak is not taking over the compare card. Another Growlithe. We got Poliwag. But yeah, ended up going 3-0 um, in the tournament, so I was number one in the tournament, and then played a couple extra games um, with people kind of between rounds as we were waiting for people to do it, and won both of those. So as of uh, as of this recording and everything, we uh, I went 5-0 and for the second pre-release. There is Teal Mask Ogre Pond. Now, I had EX, but um, the EX one allowed you to add like attach an energy from your hand and then draw a card as the ability. So it's very, very useful. I'm actually going to save Sinistra for the last pack. So we're going to do, well, now I want to keep it in order. This is pack number seven. If you guys predict it, I want to make sure you guys know which one you predicted to win in today's pack battles. <laughs> That's right. Since this is Sinistra, I'm going to save this pack too. And... This is the lucky code card for everybody. That one, I'm, I'm gonna call it out. You're gonna get some re really great pulls out of the game there. Oh, look at that, we already got Poltergeist. Beautiful, and it's 30. It's gonna win today's compare card category, I think for sure. I don't think there's any other 30s in here, so. Poltergeist taking over. Plus, I need to put that to the side because I'm building that deck. We have a Cook. Cook is back in rotation, that's fun. We have Clefable with Metronome. So excited for Clefable to be back. Tatsugiri. Oh, there we go. A spec card. Secret box. I think that is definitely going to take the win for the pools. And then, oh, and then a special Poltergeist as well. Look at that pool. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pheasantipity. We, uh, we got a double pool. Almost had a triple pool. Look at the Poltergeist. Beautiful artwork. Pack number seven with Poltergeist. Having double Poltergeist. Oh my goodness. There's so much going on here. And then we have a secret box. I, I have pulled a secret box already, so that's going in the trade binder. But Poltergeist, just, I love it. Such a beautiful card. So that'll go into the binder, and then anything extra I pull will end up in a, in a deck, I know for sure. Okay, pack number eight. We got some good stuff. The first, uh, <laughs> the first box we opened today didn't have, didn't have too much, but this second box bringing the fun and the fire and the tea bringing all the tea <laughs> okay god darumaka is not going to take over so poltergeist does win the compare card today pack number seven we got milotic there's parent a regular parent we have a diplin there's the ability that had the fun interaction with the trainer oh and we got double diplins we're double dipping over here <laughs> probo pass and we're ending on a cornerstone mask Ogre Pond EX, which can block a lot of a lot of attacks. There's a lot of Pokemon with abilities in this format, and it can say it can block all black all damage, prevent all damage, but it doesn't block the rest of the like the attack for the effects. So, but it can block things like all the damage that a Charizard EX um, Dark type can do. So. Very useful. I think I've already pulled one of those as well. So that'll be up for trade if people are wanting to build that deck. We have a secret box. We have Poltergeist. 
and we have a Dragapult EX as well. Beautiful cards to add to the collection today and all the fun stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, remember to keep singing the song in your heart. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.